Hey everyone, welcome back to a very special episode of the Kokomo Post Tries. I am Pam Downing and I am here with Ryan Minnick, one of the two mortgage guys, and they are our partner for this episode. So Ryan, we are here at Healing Hands Natural Therapy Spa and today we are gonna be experiencing cupping <laughs> therapy. Is this something you've ever done before? Never, never have I done this. Me neither. So what do you think this is gonna be like? Do you have any idea? I love spa services. Services. I've had massages before. I don't know. I, I'm a little nervous if it's if it's painful. Judging by those bruises that I've right. seen, I'm wondering if there's some like suction involved. But I don't know. How about you? Yeah. I mean, I heard that they're not really bruises, but they look like bruises, and we might mm -hmm. be wearing these for a while. I need to learn more. Sounds like you do too. Oh yeah, for sure. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I don't know anything either, so let's meet up with Amanda and learn more about cupping therapy. We are here with Amanda, who is a massage therapist at Healing Hands Natural Therapy Spa. So Amanda, what have Ryan and I gotten ourselves into today? <laughs> Teach us a little bit about cupping therapy. Uh, cupping therapy is using negative pressure which uh, will help lift and separate adhesion. So it sounds like some similar benefits to what massage therapy would offer? Yeah, very similar. Only cupping is a little bit quicker than a massage and it affects the tissue deeper in a faster way. Also too, just to let you know, you won't have any bruises because bruises are different than um, the marks that you might have from the cupping. Bruises would be painful to the touch mm. and marks are not. Well, I'm ready. How about you, Ryan? Yeah, I'm ready to get this on. Okay, well, we are gonna go get prepared for our cupping therapy experience, and we're gonna give it a try. So cupping therapy has actually been around for thousands of years. What cupping does is it uses negative pressure to lift the tissue and separate adhesions. It also allows better blood flow and it brings nutrition and hydration back into the tissues. In order to create the suction, there's different types of cups that we use. Some we push the air out and some we pump the air out. Well, I like to feel around and see what I can feel, but also the cups are really intuitive. Like they'll stop when stuff is kind of stuck. How's that pressure? Fine. Okay. So what's your first time? So we're gonna start out kind of lighter on the pressure. Okay. It feels like a suction cup on my back, but it feels really nice. It, it's exactly how Amanda described. It's just kind of like the opposite of a massage, where a massage is like pushing your muscle. Yes. This almost, this feels like it's pulling my muscle. Yes. So when I lift and use the negative pressure, it's breaking up all that bunched up tissue. So this is um, a manual pump cup. And this I'm gonna leave on. How's that pressure there? Good. Okay. So is my skin like up in it? Yep. It sure is. I'm trying to think of good words to describe this other than it feels nice because it does feel nice, but it's a different kind of nice. Is this the similar length of a massage? So you do massage, you can book a massage with an add-on of cupping. Is there a special certification? Can all massage therapists perform cupping therapy? We get certified okay. um, and there's different programs that you can do. I'm actually going to release these because they're getting pretty dark. Like the cups are really, they kind of are sensing that um, tissue that's like bunched up and um, and it just kind of stops there because it knows it needs to pull blood and nutrition to that area to get wow. it to loosen up and release. It's That's really crazy. So cool. These are the harder plastic cups and they've got a pump. Is that pressure okay? Yeah. So you have that spot that was kind of stuck here? Yeah. I'm going to stick this big one. Just kind of right there. 
so interesting. I can't wait to see this, like visually. <laughs> Okay, how are you feeling? Great, I, I love that. That's so interesting. That was so cool, thank you so much. You are so welcome. That was such an interesting experience. I will definitely be coming back and um, trying cupping again. I absolutely loved it. I can't wait to see what Ryan thinks. I'm actually tense today. Yeah, you got oh, look at this feel. stuff here is real. I'm gonna do some stretching, like myofascial stretching. So I'm gonna put kind of like an anchor down here, use another cup to move along the muscles, and just kind of do a little stretch there. I feel like a like a fish has latched onto me or something. Wow, I didn't. I guess I always thought this was just like a stationary thing. Like you... We definitely do leave cups stationary, but we like to move them around too so we can get stuff kind of broken up. And It feels really good. Like at first you can feel that you notice the suction, but then the more she moves them around, it almost just feels like she's just rubbing. I use this to kind of pull and stretch so that um, pressure from here and pressure from here and just kind of giving it a lengthening stretch. You know, a lot of times, sometimes my clients really need like deep tissue work, but they're not a fan of the downward pressure of a deep tissue. So sometimes I will suggest cupping because it's a negative pressure, but it's also working the muscles deeply. Yeah, so I normally would be helping people right now, working on financial options, recording some videos, sending it to them. So this is way, way, way easier on me. Use the pump to suck the air out, okay? Oh, you're not gonna milk a cow with that or anything? <laughs> no. They're hard plastic, and I'm like not trying to push suction out. I'm like, I'm sucking it out with this pump. It sucks more of the air out so that it can be more intense. So we're leaving these on. So when I pulled the skin up, did the skin kind of stay like that after you take the cup off? You have like a little bit of an indent where the cup, the edges of the cup were, and some people might have raised. Also depends on the intensity of the suction too. I had no idea you just put 27 of those on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know those were there. <laughs> That's what I was curious if it stayed up once you took it off. Okay, so the pressure as I move to that area, it almost gets stuck and it kind of knows where it needs to stop to bring nutrition and hydration up to the areas that need help. And again, these aren't bruises and they shouldn't hurt to the touch. You might have them for up to two weeks. I don't think so based on what I'm seeing now, but you know, you could have them for a couple days or up to two weeks. Um, I would recommend this. This was actually, it was, it was really good. It felt good, it was different. Like I said, I didn't expect this at all. I thought it was gonna be more of just a one stationary pressure point, but it felt really great. All right, so that was, uh, that was actually really nice. Yes. Right? Totally different than what I was expecting. I always had this idea, it was just like a stationary cup and it would lift your skin and then that was that, but I didn't realize the whole moving the cups, that sensation of getting a massage. Yeah, I, I agree. I loved it. I definitely will do it again. I'm with you. For some reason, I thought it was stationary, but it really felt great. It felt therapeutic. I, the only word I can describe it is it almost felt like floating like because it raises that muscle but definitely recommend the cupping therapy at healing hands spa ryan i want to thank you for joining us today oh, my pleasure. and special thanks to our partners for this episode the two mortgage guys we want to know what do you think we should try next kokomo let us know in the comments below thanks for joining us today we will see you next time